I like cash talk. Lady down is hitting, turn the flash on. I'm like Win Dixie, I get bags on. Baby got a pretty face, slim waist, ass on. Come on now. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. We're at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. We're late. The girls is going to school late. I'll explain why to that in a minute, but okay. they going to school late. Where's my bag? Thank you. You too. Yeah, y'all, the girls is going to school late because I have a meeting at the school anyway. So it's like either I would just bring them to their class and go to the meeting. Um, and also because Taylor Taylor did her, her big one last night, waking up at 3.34 a.m. and not going back to bed until 5.30. Um, I hate when she does that. I don't really know what causes it. Um, she did go to bed at 8. 15, 8 30, both of them were in bed sleeping. Um, sometimes when she go to bed too early, she do stuff like that. But maybe she don't need to go to bed too early. I don't know. But no hush phone. Here, Milani. She might want the bagel bite. Yeah, maybe they don't need to go to bed that that early. Um, I mean that was definitely a win for me because you know a girl had a little bit of time to herself but i paid for it this morning i was tired i was just like i'm probably gonna keep them home from school because you know milani got a little cold but milani showed her ass yesterday when i kept her home from school um so i mean i didn't want to go through that and i was like i could do the meeting virtually but coco melon is going to be on full blast in my ear don't want to do that so i just i gotta do this meeting it's, it was planned it was scheduled and it's a very important meeting so i'm not gonna miss it um y'all know i'm always facing these trials and tribulations when i got stuff going on and i can't stand it at all i'm dressed a little warm and snuggly today i got on my little pullover um sweater and some ripped jeans and some moccasins and you know i did my hair a little bit little something okay and then um lip gloss I did my brows I did not do my lashes just in case I get emotional I don't want to be crying my lashes off Mom, tomorrow the game is my birthday what? tomorrow the game is my birthday oh okay but yeah I got a lot of stuff going on today I'm trying to return Taylor's pull ups and get the bigger size um, I did go with the 4T 5T but I really like the 5T 6T and only a, the store by it that's close to their school on that side of town has the, the um, 5T, 6T. So I want to take the 4T, 5T and take it to that store. I'm getting confused like, what T? Um, and switch it out because I'd rather the bigger ones. Um, and then Lily's costume, I got to get her costume because I didn't get hers. We, did, we were not successful yesterday at all trying to do it ourselves so i told her she just gonna have to get their their real costume and wear it because i don't know what else to say to her um so yeah we're gonna do that and then today i gotta make their little baskets their little candy baskets i want i wanted to do like a boo basket type of thing but you see i see people that got bread they they put in uggs in their kids boo baskets and all that stuff like i'm not a, i'm not gonna do that i'm not there but I just want to give them some little cute baskets. Maybe next year. Because, listen, I don't care what nobody got to say. What? Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I'm going to be working on that today with y'all. I do need to stop by Dollar Tree and get the actual baskets. Because the stuff that I got them is not going to fit inside of their candy bath um, buckets. So, yeah, I'm going to do that with y'all today. What else am I doing? I'm cooking dinner. 
I'm gonna make some curry chicken and rice. I mean, I don't really got much going on today at all. A boring day, you know, to be home from work. Boring day. Um, tomorrow I do go to work and that's like the only day of the week I will be working. Friday, I have an appointment and um, I don't know what I'm gonna do on Friday. I'm trying to do something for myself on Friday because I was supposed to have that self-care day on Monday. Milani cat called home sick and then Tuesday I was with them. Now it's Wednesday and I'm racing against time to do other stuff again. So hopefully Friday things calm down to where I could do something for myself. But I'm about to drink my coffee and listen to some music and I'll pick back up with you guys when I come out of the meeting, I guess. Or I don't know when I'm going to pick back up with y'all, but I'm going to pick back up with y'all. All right, yeah, I had to park pretty far because I'm, I'm going to be staying. I just got to run back out to my car and get my coffee. But let me walk them in because I'm carrying Taylor, as y'all know. So it's hard to vlog. I got backpack everything hmm? all right yeah i just wanted to talk to y'all for a little while the meeting is actually in 10 minutes um i'm nervous and <laughs> this is new for me i don't even know how to feel because it's just new for me like i've never been through any of this before and it is a little hard um yeah i'll speak to you guys when i come out because i really don't know what to say i just know i need to go to my car and get my coffee and my pocketbook that they didn't make right by the way but i'm gonna drink it because i have to i can't take it back because i'm too far away but i really have to work on just making my own coffee seriously because but it's so time consuming in the morning when you have place to be to make your own coffee so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just be miserable, I guess. And Taylor's teacher is so nice. Milani's teacher is nice too. Um, but she's like, just come back to the classroom and we can walk down together. I'm like, oh, <sighs> yeah. Just pray for me. That's all I can say. Just pray for you, girl. This is not easy. This journey is not easy. <sighs> All right, guys. I survived the meeting. I survived it. I did, you know, get a little emotional in the beginning of the meeting. Um, I don't know why I cry so much. Like, I always cry about everything. So, I mean, it's not like they were saying anything crazy or anything for me to start crying. I'm just an emotional person. And I'm always crying. So I teared up a little bit. And, you know, they were very supportive to me. They're always supportive to me. And um, Taylor got approved for special ed services. And they're going to start working with her. She got approved for speech, occupational, all of that stuff. Um, she got diagnosed. Where is my chapstick? She got diagnosed with autism. Of course we know that she has autism um and they're gonna start working with her they were asking how i how she gets to school because she is eligible for a van um but the van kind of makes no sense right now because i still have to get milani to school you know so i don't know what to do about that but they told me like we could revisit that you know just know that she she is available I mean, she is eligible for a van or whatever. She doesn't have to ride the bus. And they were talking about if she was to ride the bus, um, there's bus monitors and stuff. And I was saying, you know, I had my experience with the bus monitors. I didn't had experience with that and I don't like it. So yeah, um, maybe, uh, maybe next year, definitely not this year. I didn't want to throw her on the bus and they kind of admitted that it would be a lot to just throw her on the bus right now. So, yep. So with that being said, I'm, I'm glad to know that my daughter will be receiving 
some help, you know, the help that birth the three was supposed to to help with, you know, she's about to finally get that help. Um, and I found out a lot of little things about her. They had like some little funny stories in there for her. They love her. And I'm just grateful that, you know, I have them as a team, you know, they're very like supportive and, you know, they communicate with me very well and let me explain everything to me. Like everything they, they were explaining it to me, like, when the um, super, what, what was he? Was it like the superintendent or whatever? Not a superintendent, but he's like, um, he runs like the special ed. He's like at the top of all schools, of the town. Um, when he would say like certain things, the teacher would let me know, like, this is what this means. This is what that means. This is what this means. So she was just making sure that I was clear on everything. And, you know, just in tune with what was going on. And I just really appreciate it. I really love them. They love Taylor. We all love Taylor. And um, her surgery is coming up soon. Um, they have spoke about her biting. She bites sometimes. But I had mentioned I feel like sometimes her teeth hurts because she she um is supposed to be getting surgery at the end of November to get her teeth cleaned, um, x-rays, removed, fillings, whatever they got to do. But I'm about to call the dentist because I did call them two weeks ago and ask them if they can just schedule her an appointment just to look at her teeth. I know her teeth is hard to look at because she ain't going to open her mouth. It's really hard when you have like a um, special needs child because I can sit there and say, can y'all look at her mouth? And she don't open her mouth, you know, like they got to fire her to open her mouth to look at her teeth, you know. So her surgery is in three weeks. I probably just let them do what it do. And then... um she has an audiology appointment on Friday. Um, we're going to get to the bottom of this hearing shit because Taylor has been getting her ears checked for the last past two years. They've been doing a hearing test and waiting for fluid to drain, fluid drain. She okay? Like the school did mention that they have a concern about the hearing. Um, I don't have concerns about Taylor's hearing, but you know the school is like evaluating her and observing her and stuff like really observing her i observe her but i'm not a doctor you know what i'm saying um so yeah i'm gonna look into that she might have to get tubes also even though they said she they weren't concerned about her hearing so i don't know yeah but we about to go to party city I don't even got my freaking tripod. Hello. Hi. If you need anything, let me know. All right, I'm just looking. Where the costumes at? On your left side. On the left side? Right okay. <laughs> Thank you. Don't come with a mess, but it's small. I'm looking at these masks. I like these, but I don't like Halloween, so I'm all set. This party city definitely got more. Definitely got more options. This is what um Milani is.
Yeah, they definitely got more. I like that little witch outfit. But I'm gonna dress Taylor up in that little um, outfit I showed y'all. Yeah, let me hurry up. Yeah, the other one came with the mask. This one don't come with the mask, but it's fine. She already got her little sticker scars and stuff. I'm just over this. All right, I'm out of here. I got other things to do. Yeah, cookie dough and fruity. Yes. All right, guys, I made it home. I've been home. I don't went to Walmart. I done been everywhere, okay? Y'all know I ran out of storage, and that's why I stopped blogging. Um, after I came out of Party City, I ended up going to Dollar Tree to pick up more things for, um, you know, to put in their baskets. I got some toothbrushes, mouthwash. I got some Pop Rocks. These little cute tumblers. I got these scrunchies for me, and I got a chapstick for... Malia and Ronnie for school, even though that's all I buy them and they still don't keep up with them. And I got these little no. black baskets for their blue baskets. No. 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 Anyway, my kids are something else, I swear. Anyway, so this is um Malia's basket and this is the baby's basket. So tonight in another video, because I don't know if I'm going to run out of storage or not, y'all going to see me make these little baskets this is all their candy and like random little things that i'm picked up this is some stuff from dollar tree i'm gonna put the tablecloth on the table um and these are the little baskets i'm going to be using i also i also went to um so malia tried her costume on and it didn't fit so we had to bring it back and exchange it real quick so i did go to party city twice then i went to walmart um, I exchanged Taylor's pull-ups. They did have the 5T6T. <laughs> and then I got Milani some black stockings and some black shoes for her um, cat outfit. She is going to be going trick-or-treating. Um, Malia don't want to go trick-or-treating because that's not what we do. Taylor not going to go trick-or-treating because she's just not going. Um, that's not something we want to force her to be doing. She's not going to like that too much. And she's not going to participate in that. So Milani's gonna go trick or treating and, and um with her dad and his family, and we just gonna do I don't know what we're gonna do we're gonna do what we always do. And then come back, goodie. <laughs> they can't wear their costumes to school, so um Friday they do on Comic Con, so they gonna dress up on Friday at school. Yeah. I'm about to eat a burger because I'm starving, and then I'm about to order them some Chinese food for tonight because I'm not cooking. Said she's gonna buy lots of sweet goodies. Yeah, some of you guys are getting candy bags. You and Taylor too. Look at her, she in heaven. That's her thing. Um, I'm seasoning, I'm cleaning my chicken thighs right now. I'm gonna um, cut them up, clean them up, season them up, and curry them because I'm gonna make some curry chicken and rice tomorrow, but I'm just not making curry chicken and rice today. It's just no time. It's already 5.09. I just wanna bathe the girls and have an easy night so I can make their baskets. Um, tomorrow I do work. That's like the only day this week I work. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm about to get into my night routine and yeah, just get into trying to make some damn storage so I can, um, I hate when my storage run out because it's hard for me to post. If y'all don't see me posting or there's a day that goes by and I don't post, it's a storage issue for sure. It's not me. It's, it's like... You be ahead of the game and then it just stops you. And I hate that for me, but I'm back and I'm in a, I'm going to find a way to always vlog. Whether I'm posting or not, I'm going to find a way to always vlog so we can always pick up where we left off at. But yeah, I want to clear my storage because I want to show, I want to make a video of me making a boo basket. So I'm going to end this vlog here and I'm going to get them ready. I already got their pajamas out. I already cleaned the tub out. I think I'm going to give them a bath or I might order the food and then give them a bath. It's only five o'clock. So if they bathe by six and they eat by like 530 or even if they bathe by 630, that's not bad. Um, I go pick out their school clothes and stuff and try to sit down and see what's going on with my storage and then um, hop into the next video. So if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Yes. Make sure you hit a like if you enjoyed this video, share it, whatever, comment and say hello to us. 
We almost at 3K. I am going to be doing a giveaway at 3K because it's just time to do a giveaway. I've never done a giveaway, and I just think it's time to do a giveaway. So we're going to be doing a giveaway at 3K. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to be giving away, but I'm definitely going to be giving away something, and I'm putting it together so I can just show my love back to you guys. I got some real strong supporters up in here, and I got some people that really, really rock with me. So I'm going to figure out what I'm doing um how did how y'all can enter it i'm gonna let y'all know and yeah just go ahead and do that but i'm out of here i'll see you guys in the next video love y'all bye